Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Marcel, and welcome back to another video on the F1 2021 game. Today, what I have for you is an ultimate open lobby setup guide. Because I know some of you out there, you're sometimes joining open lobbies, maybe in my stream, maybe just for fun, or maybe against some friends. And you never know, is it a setup that makes you slower? Even do you have a setup, or are you just using time trial setups? And I have, a, I have created a setup base which will work on any kind of racetrack. The only thing you have to adjust is the wing and maybe the off diff. There are small tweaks that you can do to make it more preferable to your driving style. But with this setup you will always be fast. It might not be at the limit but it's the best kind of sacrifice that you can make if you have no clue what's going on in the game. And you just want to have a bit of fun online, but you don't want to use the default setup to go quick in the F1 game. So, as you can see, we call it the, ult uh, the ultimate open lobby setup. We're going to load it, and it's going to look like this. You might be surprised, 7-7. And it's Australia just because I saved it there, but it's not the Australian wings. So, first of all, why 7-7? Um, the wings you will always adjust. Like, for example, in Brazil, I would recommend you to run something like... 10-9 or 11-9 something like that but with 7-7 you have a good baseline it can also be 8-8 whatever if you want a setup that is a bit more understeery you usually want to go one click less on the front arrow than the rear arrow or you want it completely stable if you want a bit more rotation i can recommend you to go one click higher than the rear wing or two clicks two clicks is already quite extreme um anything more you have to balance out with the setup uh, so I would recommend you don't go more than one click less on the front than the rear. Same or two clicks lower or one click lower on the rear. Um, for example, Brazil, like I said, 11.9. Monaco, you can still go 11.11 or 11.10. I would recommend 11.11. But you can adjust the wings just for whatever track you're on. So you, you have this one setup and you adjust the wings to whatever you're going to race. Like example, Monza... Something like 6-5, six, 6-6, six, 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 can work well. If you don't want that, 5-5 five, five can also work. Um, but this is just the base for the wings. And we are also going to jump into an open lobby just to show you that this setup actually works. For the diff, always 100 on the front, 56 on uh, on on the front, <laughs> on the on throttle and 56 on the off throttle. The reason for that is 100 gives you most grip for acceleration. 56 gives you enough rotation but won't make you lock up the rears or anything. If you want a bit more rotation when being off the throttle and braking, you can also put it to 55 or even 54. That's for more experienced drivers. And if you really want to challenge yourself, because this can gain you a lot of lap time, but it can also create a lot of tire temps uh, for the open lobby race. Then we are going with a suspension geometry of right, left, left, left. Simple, keeping it that way. The suspension is 171727. You can also go 171717. gives you a little bit more rotation at the cost of straight line speed. This balances it out a bit more and you are less likely to kind of bump out on curbs or whatever. Um, so yeah, I would recommend keeping it that way. The reason why I'm doing this is it's still aggressive enough. There's a gap between front and rear. The rear is stiffer, so there's more rotation. Same with the ARB. It's not too stiff, and it's just giving you the right amount of rotation that you will need probably for most tracks that are out there. So it's a quite good baseline. You can still make it a bit softer if you want it to be more stable under acceleration, especially the suspension. I would recommend you just leave the roll bar. It will be fine. If you want it a bit more aggressive, put it to 1.8, but leave it at 1.8 at max. 1.7 is good. Maybe one, something between 1.2 and 1.7, you can play around there, nothing else, leave the rest the same, okay? Just leave it on any kind of track, this will work. Brake pressure, always 150 for 5 lap races at least. For uh, longer races, you have to adjust maybe the brake bias to 51 or 52, so you have more balanced out tire wear. And for the pressures, I would recommend using the standard ones, because they're pretty decent. So 22.2 and 23.1 on a 5 lap race, if you have longer races, reduce tire wear just increase the pressures just put it to max or have something like 238 and 24 uh, 235 that can help you out to reduce a bit of tire wear but it will also increase tire temps and might make you slower of uh, because actually lower temps uh, lower pressures will give you more lap time so 22 to 23 one the rest like i said i would keep it a 7 7 base then change it from here on Put it to 156 on most tracks. You can play around with the 56, leave the 100, leave this here. 
this is a good balance you can still play around with that and this is a solid setup base with this you can literally dominate every single open lobby and you will always always I, I promise you you will always have a good car it will always work okay and you might find one balance that you like you save it and then you have it for the next open lobby so you can race against your friends and we're just gonna quickly jump into a random open lobby to show you what i mean and um with this one i hope you're gonna smack your friends in open lobbies and your competitors for league racing these setups are also quite decent but they are not at the max like i'm just giving you a base that will work in any open lobby so if there's different tracks that you didn't practice for it will still work that's the most important thing also just if you're also here um make sure to hit the subscribe like and uh notification bell check out the socials you know the good stuff that helps me out and makes grow the community um if you like the stuff if you like the content then yeah you're more than welcome to do so i would really appreciate it let's see is there any open lobby um that we can join right now which is not started yet maybe we can even start from the back uh, around five three people 15 people we are going to do this one where is it oh i might be lucky here this might be a lobby the one shot yeah it is one shot okay i cannot qualify i will probably start from the back but it will we we have an art we have ai cars why is lotifi and those guys driving okay so we have to watch the quali quickly and then we are ready also in case that it is raining i recommend you to increase the rear wing a tiny bit like have less front wing more rear wing that's usually always qu uh, quite good Can also increase it by like two clicks because the rear will be a bit more slippery um you still need that front end otherwise you will just understeer off but usually you can just use it with a little bit more rear wing in case this race will be rainy which i don't hope because i would like to show you in the dry um i don't know the right balance right now for the wets would be a little bit of a guessing game this is p1 right now alex mercedes against the red bull in p2 oh no this is <laughs> this is the williams the red bulls are actually last <laughs> unlucky how is it wait oh this one guy had an invalid i think Alex, get in there. Congrats. P1. I've actually ha never done, I think, an open lobby without being on stream in this game. That will be fun. Most of these people probably don't even know me. The rear, uh, By the way, do you see the rear wheels? They were not spinning or just slowly spinning in the mirror. <laughs> okay, let's see. What car are we getting? This is gonna be interesting and maybe it's gonna be dry for the race maybe it's not gonna be dry but we are probably starting at the back oh it's actually dry that's really good for us so we're gonna load the setup quickly just at the bottom the ultimate open lobby setup and what i'm going for is probably a 9-7 wing combination here yeah i will leave the rest as it is like I said, nothing changed. 56, maybe I will put it to 55. You know what, why not? Let's put it to 55. That might, might be a bit too aggressive. But from P18, we're gonna attempt and go to P1. We're actually last place. This is the last to first in this lobby. In the S-Smart, unfortunately, but it is what it is. We had a great start. We're fighting the AI of Mazepin, but there's already the first collision. I don't know how good these drivers are. We're gonna go around the outside of kind of everyone aside from the guys that are spinning and taking us out, of course. But we caught it. There's still some hope. Open lobbies, chaotic. The McLaren is willing to take anyone out, apparently. We're gonna overtake the TV on the next corner. The eye seems quite strange. They are laggy. Is it because of the host? Or is it because of my connection? I don't know. I never raise AI on multiplayer. Slurper is struggling a bit. But this setup actually with 9-7 feels fairly nice. And I think this is an illegal overtake because Slurper 
push us off. Oh my god. Slurpers in the wall. They made contact with us. I don't think that was our fault. That up feels decent. Let's see acceleration out of this corner. I think the rears are already getting a bit hotter. The leader is actually an S. Martin. And the McLaren is behind us with a penalty. Not a surprise. With that spin that we had. Oh my god. No fucking way, man. This AI is so annoying. I don't think I will win this race anymore. Oh my god. This jittery AI. Yeah, oh lobby peak. Are you kidding me? Oh fuck off man. Yeah. I'm grateful for all of you out there in my community that you don't drive the shitty SDs kids. Sorry but <laughs> holy crap. So other guy just straight line the other person. The next guy just tried to take me out. They race with AI which are just laggy. And we're still going purple. Look at them. 16.9 <laughs> is the fastest lap. I think we can top that. Let's see. I mean, we have a 10 second penalty. One of the Red Bulls is literally just waiting on the track. I think that's the one that pushed us off. And he got disqualified. But honestly, the setup feels good. Maybe 9.8 would have been a bit better or the 56 off the, but not too bad. Oh my god. What are we witnessing here? Track limits are also not strict. Otherwise, these guys would all be disqualified. Are we getting taken out? Another straight up. ERS. This guy as well. He's spamming his ERS. Actually, a clean battle. Nice one. We still have a 10 second penalty. The last corner is a bit tricky. Or last sector to say it 103 all right the 14.7 now with ERS and a bit less traffic we don't have any ERS anymore let's see how that lap time will be but we're actually catching the leaders oh, he needs God. some milk um we don't know what we've just witnessed but something happened there with a Ferrari we're actually in the podium position. <laughs> I don't think we are catching P1 anymore. Especially if we are getting taken out like this. These guys are ridiculous. Alright. I didn't expect that for a tutorial video. But hey. I think you can see the setup works. Alright, we are fast. My tires are completely cooked. <laughs> Oh man. Are we getting taken out once more? We still caught P1, even though we got taken out. Oh, what happened with Alex? Yeah, okay. Without the penalty, we would have been P3 with a spin, with a takeout, with another takeout, and with AI taking us out. 
This setup is fast. I don't think I want to do one more race with these open lobbies, but I hope you had some fun watching that. And the little bit of rage. Um, crazy stuff what's happening here. I have no idea what's up with these guys and how they enjoy it when they play like that. But try to set up out, play a bit around with it, and let me know how you like it. I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Peace.